Hello, friends. Welcome back. My name is Ramon. How are you? In today's video, I'm coming to you bare faced. I haven't even done skincare yet because we're doing another installment of my Put Your Faces On videos where we put our faces on together. But this is a skincare edition video because I want to do a video basically talking about all the skin influencers that have kind of paved the way and inspired me to get here and like who I've watched over the years to kind of influence skin influence my skincare philosophy and stuff. So before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, thumbs up, and in the comments below, tell me who your favorite skin influencers are on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter. Let's get started. Basically thinking back as to like my YouTube journey, I don't remember who the first actual like skin influencer could have been. You know, there's people who do specific makeup looks who talk about skincare, but they're not like skin influencers in my opinion. But the earliest one I can think of is someone who I've been watching for years now, at least five, six, maybe seven years. And that's Cassandra Binkson, a really awesome uh, YouTube influencer. She's done video for years. And the reason I started watching her is because she specifically focused a lot of her videos and a lot of her content around cystic acne and dealing with acne and breakouts, which is why I got into skincare in the first place. I had really bad cystic acne. And so I watched her for years, kind of followed her journey, learned a lot from her, and it's really cool to see where she is right now. But to start off my skincare routine, much like Cassandra does and how she teaches, I just rinse my face off. You don't have to wash your face in the morning necessarily. Um, for me, I find that I have a little bit more of like a reactive skin type and I have a really dehydrated skin type. So just rinse my face off. Next step, essence. When I think of other influencers around that same time, back when I first started getting into skincare, I think of Ivan Lam. And granted, I got into Ivan Lam because I thought he was really hot and he was a boy who wore makeup, but he actually taught me a lot about skincare, specifically a lot of like Korean skincare, or Asian skincare products. And he's the first person I remember ever mentioning essences and what they did, but I still watch Ivan. And it's really cool seeing his content and how he's grown. I love his IG presence, but when I think of essences, the first person who really introduced that to me was Ivan. Getting into the next step, toner. We've been in the YouTube game for a long time. You recognize this toner. She was everywhere. And every Korean beauty YouTube or YouTube person used this and recommended this. And that reminds me of my next set of people who were kind of like all the K-beauty skin influencers in Korea. First and foremost, Edward Avila. While I don't necessarily watch his channel too often anymore, he was kind of like the first one I discovered. I don't know how. Oh, he's a boy that wore makeup, that's how. But he popped up in my recommended and I watched his videos and he was that gateway of getting into like Korean beauty. Him, which rolled into me discovering Joan Kim and Sue Beauty, which are some really amazing Korean beauty YouTubers. They were the ones who were based in Korea. They had access to all this Korean beauty. And so I watched their channels to discover new brands, new products, new concepts and techniques. And so they were the people that I watched a lot in the beginning. And they were really awesome people to help me discover new Korean brands. When I went to Korea, I knew all the brands, where to go, what to shop for. So they were really uh, useful in like my formative years of like getting into skincare, but naming like Korean beauty specifically. Next, another toner. This is the Hadalabu Kokujian Lotion. This brings me to my next set of people, Leah Yu and Renee of Gothamista. There are some people I still watch to this day. I love Renee's videos. They put me so at Zen, so in Zen, so in the Zen. But also Leah Yu, like Crave Beauty CEO, seeing her growth has been amazing. But those two specifically were really formative in starting to introduce me to the concept of what skincare ingredients went into formulations and what they did, as well as nourishing, treating, and repairing my skin barrier and moisture barrier by introducing certain kinds of products into my routine. Leah always speaks about things in a very scientific, very, very researched method. Renee has tried so many products. She can speak to textures, formulations, brands, ingredients, and she specifically has the most amazing product recommendation videos. She is so thorough in how she describes things and who she described products for. And I know I did this level preparation before this, now I'm doing this one. All the influencers I just mentioned from like K-Beauty World really emphasize the whole seven skin technique. I'm not about to do seven skins. I'm about to do like three, but all of them really introduced the layering of toners, which was actually something that I wasn't doing prior. As I was doing skincare, you know, I had oily acne prone skin. I was like, I need the most astringent toners possible. And all of them really introduced me to the concept of like, oh, don't do that. Like hydrate your skin, nourish your skin. 
and I realized I had dehydrated skin because as I was using these toners and layering them up, I was like, oh, my skin's doing great. Like my oiliness is reduced. Like my skin's actually thriving because I didn't realize I needed to like nourish my skin. But KBD YouTubers, thank you for introducing me into hydrating toners and essences because godsend, still using to this day. Next up is one of my skincare staples I talk about in every video and that is my, thank you, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. Fragrance Free Sensitive Skin Edition. I always talk about this and recommend it because it was one of the first times that I really like took techniques I learned online in terms of like learning about ingredients and what goes into products and realizing like, oh, this is literally the same formulation as the face version of it. It's just a very straightforward to the point hydrating moisturizer and you get so much product for so little money. And the reason I like learned that and the people I credit that to is Cassandra Bankson again, but also Dr. Dre, a really amazing dermatologist YouTuber here on YouTube. They specifically really taught me the importance of with learning about ingredients and what goes into formulations, looking at what's in products, what that does in the ingredients list in the formulation, what else is in the formulations as well, paired with it, to, as Cassandra Bankson calls it, it's the turn and learn method. Ignore the marketing on the front of the packaging, look at the back, see what's actually in the product and how it's formulated to see if that's going to be good for your skin, if it has ingredients you like or that you don't like. And so this was one of those first products that I was like, oh, like... This has body, but it has no fragrance. It is meant for sensitive skin. It's not irritating and it has just great hydrating emollients, occlusive ingredients in it to be a good moisturizer. Been using it now for well over a year. No problems, get you some. Next on my list is essentially, I guess like a serum treatment step, kind of. That is my ordinary azelaic acid. When I think of this, I think of, again, fundamentally breaking down skincare ingredients, learning, the benefit of ingredients, but more in a scientific aspect, like what is the ingredient? What's the components of the ingredient itself? What are the benefits for the skin? And I really credit that to Dr. Dre, who has an amazing video talking about azelaic acid. Cassandra Bankson, again, always breaks down. She does a lot of videos on The Ordinary, but breaking down skincare actives and talking about benefits for the skin as well. As someone who studied aesthetics and does a lot of research, Cassandra's videos are so well researched. She's corny, but she's so entertaining, so wholesome, such an amazing YouTuber love her and also lab muffin beauty science one of my all-time favorite youtubers period chemistry phd michelle wong she's really informative she talks about skincare and what i like i'm a biochemistry student i'm studying a cosmetic science uh, degree program this fall so i look at ingredients i look at the chemistry the composition the formulation and products and this is a great example of that and learning like oh what's azelaic acid oh what's the chemical makeup well how does it work why does it work what are the benefits for the skin that's why I got into skincare in the first place. And also thinking about learning what goes in formulations beyond just the actives. And so this one is a lot of silicones and dimethicones. So it's a bit occlusive, a bit emollient. So I use it on top of my moisturizer and hydrator to just really lock them in. But also it sits really well under sunscreen and makeup. So whenever I think of those different components of formulations, I always think of Michelle Wong and Dr. Dre specifically because Dr. Dre always, she was the first one that really unlocked that knowledge for me of a good moisturizer has three components. Humectants to draw moisture and attract moisture and bring moisture into the skin. Emollients to soften the skin, smooth out the skin and make the skin look really juicy. And then occlusives to lock all that hydration in and keep it on lock so that you can keep hydrated all day. And that knowledge I've taught to so many people. I think like at my job where we were all washing our hands literally every 20 minutes, everyone being like, my hands are so dry. And I'm like, you're not, you're not moisturizing your hands right. You're not treating your hands right. And once I taught them like with damp hands, go in with a good, nice, rich hand cream, games were changed. So the last step in my routine is going to be the most vital step in any routine you will ever have. And every person on this list, everyone I mention, this is a philosophy they carry. While they might not all have the most consistent skincare philosophies amongst them, the Venn diagram overlaps in one specific spot substantially, and that is sunscreen. Gotta wear it, everyone should. So when I think of sunscreen, I think of a lot of different people. Dr. Dre and Leah Yu for explaining why sunscreen's important in taking care of your skin. Joe's Logic versus Luxury, Hiram, Gothamista, James Welsh for just recommending plethoras of sunscreens different textures for different skin types with different benefits. And especially Miss Jackie Ina. Jackie, 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 Jackie. <laughs> She's obviously like one of the biggest beauty YouTubers, one of the most influential, one of the most major. But what I really appreciate about Jackie is she really stresses the importance of taking care of your skin. If you want to have a good base and a good face for makeup, you have to have good skin. She goes from 
bougie to budget in terms of recommending products but she also stresses the importance of no matter what your skin color is no matter where you live no matter what time of the year it is you need to wear sunscreen because it, it doesn't just do anti-aging purposes it helps with the pigmentation it helps from free radical damage and it, the cancer risk that it prevents as well so so many people have really stressed the importance of sunscreen and i stress it for people and it's actually really really like a big honor when my friends are like oh like i watched all your videos and you really influenced me to wear sunscreen i have one homegirl hi colleen who was like you're the first person who's influenced me to wear sunscreen for the first time in my life and i'm 30 years old Today's sunscreen specifically is going to be the Perito Centella Green Level Safe Sun. And the first person I actually heard talk about this is Miss Kelly Driscoll, an amazing, amazing, amazing YouTuber. I love her content. I got into her videos because she talked a lot about ingredients that nourish, replenish, and heal the skin barrier. She has amazing videos talking about those kind of nourishing ingredients, talking about entire lines of products that feature certain kinds of ingredients like Mugwort and Centella. She also just teaches you like, how you're using skincare products wrong, how to use them correctly, and how to get the most out of your skincare products. So Kelly Driscoll, love her video. She's an amazing YouTuber that focuses a lot on Korean beauty. And so again, don't forget when you are wearing sunscreen, layer that ish up. Again, Dr. Dre is one of those big people that influenced my sunscreen game. Wow, we technically look for some different things. She really loves her physical sunscreen. She likes nice switch formulas. I look for chemical sunscreens because I have tan skin. I need my sunscreen to wear well under makeup and I like specific kind of formulations and textures, but Dr. Dre regardless will recommend products that work for every skin type. But also I think of Michelle Wang again from Lab Muffin Beauty Science. She's one of my favorite people to watch when it comes to talking about sunscreen filters, the difference of Western versus Eastern sunscreen filters and what's happening internationally, how they work on a more like photochemical level, I guess. So if you ever have any sunscreen questions in regards to sunscreen filters, check out Lab Muffin Beauty Science's channel. She's an amazing, amazing YouTuber who just tells you like chemically what's in your skincare and why it does what it does and how it works. So more lately, I mean, I'm talking about the people that have paved the way for me and influenced my skincare journey, how I think about skincare, how I talk about skincare and why. But I also, you know, I'm watching a lot of people now that still kind of carry on that torch and they've influenced me more so in how I wanted to run my channel, how I spoke to things, how I want to educate. I specifically think of Susan Yara, James Welsh and Hiram, who are amazing YouTubers. They're amazing educators, but they also have just really quality content. What I like about them specifically is they break down people's routines, really teach you how to better your routine, improve your routine, really enforce what you're doing correctly, and also stressing like how to do things properly to really maintain and take care of your skin in a proper way. You know, Susan Yara does her reaction videos. Hiram's big thing for a long time was he would recommend and kind of improve people's skincare routines, like for his followers and stuff. But more so, I really like how in a world where so much is going on, you have so many people trying to give skincare advice or whatever. These are the influencers I like because they're really teaching how to pare things down simplify your skincare routine, really stressing like you're doing too much, which can exacerbate your skin, just simplify, like go down to the bare bone basics for your skin type to give you the skin benefits that you want. And that's a philosophy that I stand by and that I preach as well. Like don't do the most. I also see like the little friend group and I also think of like the Carolyn Hirons, Stephanie Nicole, Jordan Samuels, like little skincare friend group as well. And I'm like really excited to like in doing this and getting more of a following, developing my own little skincare, skin influencer friend group. And with that, there's people that since I've done this that have really like been really cool supporters and connections I've had and have really been great assets for knowledge, but also just advice. And that's Hannah English who's a really awesome um, pharmaceutical scientist from Australia with really great content on Twitter and Instagram. And someone I just chit chat with all the time in the DMs and Derm Angelo, who's a dermatology resident in Washington DC. Quality TikTok skincare content, check them out. But they come out with really informative threads on Twitter and they've been really useful in like researching for some of my videos. So definitely check them out. Since I started this, like it's just been a lot of fun and meeting people, influencing, if I can say that and essentially getting a lot of great feedback from people saying that my videos have been like super informative and they've learned so much and that's important to me. And that's what everyone on this list has really taught me and how I want to articulate things, what I want to teach and how I want to teach it. So if you're watching this and I mention you in this video, thank you for inspiring me to get to this point and inspiring me to start my channel. I really appreciate it. And you've been really pivotal in my skin influencer journey. That's it. That's all my skincare for today. If I might do makeup, might not, we'll see. But if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. Again, put whoever inspired you or your favorite skin influencers down in the comments down below. Let's fangirl over them mutually. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Hit that thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you know when I post more videos like this. And I hope you have a good day.
make sure you wear your sunscreen. Like I 